Oh no! Hello everyone, my name is Bjorn and welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. And right now we are going to go ahead and do some part-time hero quests, part-time hero missions. And uh, we'll probably skip some parts that may not be interesting, but we'll keep intact the ones that would be. So I've done some review here ahead of time. And uh, I think we should go ahead and do some of the support quests and then other rescue missions as well. Huh? What's huh? with him? Crap. He saw me looking. I feel like I'm getting called over. Who are you? Yeah, uh, we'll check you out. Help you with to tell you the truth, I need to hop a but I don't have any clothes. I don't have any clothes? Uh, yeah. What do you hear? See for yourself. What the frick? Wait, how how did you get into this mess though? Mm, right. Well, well. Please, 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 yeah. Bye. Don't you see? I can't <laughs> get back off. Of course you've been end up like that in the first place. Like, earlier today, I was enjoying so my new girl Mikachu. Uh, Suddenly, while I'm doing the old slipping, he's not really the type to call. You answer. Your grandma's passed out. He tells me. All uh, I can think about is getting to the hospital, so I shake off me with oh, the way I am now. I'll get caught. Yeah, no shit. I'm begging you. Huh? No way. Uh, figures. Yep. So, so uh, can't you just... Yeah. Apparently, running out the front door naked is pretty frowned upon it, so oh, I shit. tried to go back in and get dressed, but the bounce stuck between... If you won't let me borrow your clothes, can you at least... Clothing? That's right. Mm. I have to get clothes. In that case, why don't I just buy you? Time for that. What if Santa Field pick out something in my size? Seriously, if you're that worried, believe me, I would. And to top it off, what about all the wet pockets around here? Wet pockets? Wet pockets? Okay. All right. So are we get is this like an escort? One little splish of water, and then I can kiss both. Well, it's not like you couldn't get arrested right now. Think you can get me over to a crib begging you? Yeah, we're right. coming out. Really? Just have to get to the store without getting, getting him wet. I'm Awano. I don't know if I should say if it's nice to meet you, Awano. Which you kind of have the same name as that guy in Yakuza Zero. That was easy. Clue, glad we got him here without you. Uh, hang out. Be right back. Sure, go ahead. I'm coming, Grandma! Hmm? Wait, are they really gonna let him shop like that? <laughs> Ew, you pervert! Get out of here! Wait, please, it's just me to buy some clothes! Here we go. Kasuga san, tell her it's all a misunderstanding. They're gonna lock me up at the street. It's just when we got to the store. Shit just doesn't end, does it? Hey. Look, about my friend. There's a reason this thing is missing. Uh -huh. Is there? Yeah, his grandma just passed out. She was in the bathroom and he got the message. He couldn't ignore it. So he ran out and had to think. His grandma passed yeah, out? Yeah. yeah, doing a favor and selling some clothes, please. He's already made enough of the scene. Just trying to help this fool get to the hospital. Meet his grandma. Okay, I understand that piece. Right this way. Mm. Yeah, say something ridiculous with a serious face and people would buy just about anything. Kasuga san, I was able to get some clothes! Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. that's, now that I think about it, how'd you pay for this? Weren't you naked? <laughs> the clerk saw me crying while I was picking out clothes and let me put it on a tab. A tab? A clothing store? I'm forever in your debt, and with that, I'm off to see my grandma. Okay. Yeah, get going. <laughs> Hope his grandma's okay. So, what seems to be the problem again? Yo, Yo it's it's an hour hour. Hour. Oh, oh. So, this so is the Kasuga son that, that helped you. That's right. The your grandmother. I wanted to say thank you. My grandmother's alive and well. Hey, yeah. Good to hear. I heard about how far you were willing to go for this silly boy. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> My, I didn't know gentlemen like you still existed. You're just blushing. Okay. You sure? So where are you off to? Huh? Oh, well, well, where would you like to go, Grandma? Let's see. Hot spring. Uh, hot spring? Yeah, well, we should get going. Take care, Kat. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Why do I get the feeling that... Of course. 
She didn't know bathing could run in the family. Yeah. Part of me feel like suddenly grandpa gets an emergency and then suddenly he would be naked again. I told you I haven't stolen anything. Stop accusing me of what I didn't do. Where's this part time hero? That must be my client. Time to play part time hero. Clean up. So what, Jerry Sam, a thief? That's slander, pal. You're not getting away with it. Ooh. Nice. Thanks. If you hadn't been here on time, that jerk would have taken everything I had. Now I know who to call when there's trouble. But sounds like with you owe someone. Oh, Dan tells it. Performance guitar. Maybe that will be a good weapon. Maybe. There you are. Hey kid, I'm from Part Time Hero. I know your mom's worried about you, so why don't you get on home? She really went on Part Time Hero? Guess she learned how to use her smartphone. Okay, I'll go home. Huh. That wasn't even in my map, it just randomly saw that kid and talked to him. The matter just contacted us to let them know her child returned safely. Well done, hero. I'm glad we went to this place. 25k in boxing shoes. Huh. We got some new quests as well. Fine, I'll apologize if that's what you want. Uh, when's that hero gonna get here? That must be my client. This, this could get rough. What's on hero here? Look, why don't you just let him go? Apology. I don't think you get it. This man here violated my personal space. That shit's sick. What if he got a cold? Maybe I'll take him out before it spreads to anyone else. Okay, well, I'm gonna better take you out, dude. Bam! Sorry for dragging into this. It was a careless mistake on my part. Good thing I can count on part time heroes like you, eh? You can. With finesse. With finesse. Huh? Why is there a cutscene here? Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, some, some bullies uh -huh. and thugs. Want me to let you in like a dog scratching and begging his master to let him in the house before he freezes to death? I suggest you learn what's good for you and get lost. Uh, what's up here? I was just curious. <coughs> get the fear of something to in the back of there. Kind of gives me a creep. If only I was more assertive, then I probably could have asked. Oh, confidence level 4. Uh, alright. Okay, I guess we need to raise our confidence. Looks like there are places we can't go to yet. Get to that. Which stone should I get? That's gotta be a lady who's supposed to find a part time hero. Finally right? found you! Ah, from a part time hero, and I have a message from your boyfriend. He says he's an asshole and feels bad, so could you maybe go talk to him? Oh, did you kill? Go and ask you to find me? I wish he came to look for me himself, but I guess our argument put up a barrier between us. Well, let's see if he'll apologize in person. About that lady you found, her boyfriend just let us know she came back. Looks like they cleared up their misunderstanding and they're happy couple once more. With finesse. With finesse. Oh, you... Ah, please no, where's a hero when I need one? That must be my client. Time to clean up! Ha, ah, I'll throw down alright. Gonna slam your ugly ass face to conk. Damn! Dude, you freaking wrecked that guy! Too bad I can't use parts on heroes to solve all my problems. With finesse! With finesse. Uh, need some backup here. Oh wait, what exactly do you need? Do you need pocket tissues? Dragon cart. Hmm. Is that- oh. Hey, hey, you, you there! there. Oh. Ever thought about entering the wild world of huh? dragon? What the hell's that? Dragon cart is the cart racing sensation. You've seen go karts in amusement parks before. Oh, go karts. Yeah, I don't. I'll see you around. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Hold on now. Just a moment. Yeah. How's Unlike those peaceful amusement parks. Dragon Cart makes its home right here in the lo- You mean around town? That's right. You can even attack your opponents during the race. Thanks to the various upgrades we have available. Got in violence. Sorry, did you say attack? Boy, did I. 
course, you can... There's a limit to how much damage your cart can take, too. Take too much. Sounds pretty extreme for go-kart. Hence the name Dragon Cart. You can also pick up items you use any means like necessary to get that... <laughs> so... Definitely sounds more fun when you throw in that bit about attacking each other. Keep ahead of the pack with speed, or take down your rival. He'll be started off with a fairly standard cart. Anyway, I think at this point it might be... Why not give it a spin when you get... Dragon Cart. Racing... Hell yeah, give it a try. let's give it a... Please, do. Oh, my name's Fujisawa. I organize the races. Your name's Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to, nice to meet you. Now, right on. Forgot what his like name was. He he also has been involved in the other mini games, the past Yakuza game. Can't believe I forgot his name now. <laughs> All right, just around corners. Stage where to use items. Okay, I think that should be good enough. Oh wait, do I need to pick all of those up? Because they seem to be like currency. <sighs> so, how was your first? Yeah, it's way different than driving. Definitely a thrill. <laughs> I'm glad. If you thought right. that race was exciting, please talk to me. Should you ever feel like entering? You can ask me for time. Yeah, sure thing. Aren't you the guy that was racing earlier? Huh? Hey, you're right. Nice driving out. <laughs> oh, hey. Naoki-san. Ai-san. He's gonna be my rival. Uh, aren't they cold? Great job out there. Ve Think so? I felt like I was barely trying. <laughs> so, you a new driver? Let me introduce you. This is Ichiban Kasuga-san. Oh, I see. Then hey, we might end up in a tournament sometime. Just know that if we do, I'll crush you. <laughs> you better see you later, rookie. But if you value your life... Hold up. Huh? I gave you all your say, but damn if you don't talk a lot of oh. trash. You guys got me pretty fired up. But you're gonna be eating my dust next race, so be sure to open... <laughs> Some talk. You better remember those words. I'll be looking forward. Hey, hey, now! It's all fine and dandy to get heated, but I won't allow any fighting. If you're gonna have at it, settle it on the track. <laughs> bye bye, Fujisawa san, Ichiban kun. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> well, as you can see, the racers in this town are rather they unique. They are really unique. They're <laughs> definitely something. So, wait. Who all am I going to see? Naoki-san, a former Olympic wrestler. He's got power and reflexes. If you let your guard down, he'll tear both Hama Naomi-san, a sumo wrestler who holds third seat in the Maigashira rank. Naoki-san and Hama Naomi-san are Ai-san, a dealer at a casino, known as the speedster of Hama. She is unrivaled, a Madame Matsuko-san. She puts the majority of her husband's money into her car. A formidable veteran driver who will obstruct anything and everything that gets what near her, frick? be it a small car child? or a small child. She's also fairly speedy. And together with Aisan, Raw she puts Suguru-san, a public trading company employee, a true intellectual. He learns each and okay. every Akira-san. Leader of the biker gang, Agefaya, and conqueror of... His use of motorcycle technique is brilliant. And the, the Yakuza Jin-san, a super aggressive Yakuza. racer. And together, Suguru-san, Akira-san... Okay, that should cover all the recent... And Hell of a lineup. Yeah. Crazy. If you can win among these racers, then you're Crazy a group of people. competitor for the top racer in the country. Get out there and do your best. I gotcha. All right, just let me know whenever you... I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, you got it. Dragon card, huh? Sounds There's like it'll be fun. You I'll stop by when I have time. <laughs> He's sure to be a fun racer to watch. What do we have here? Hmm? What's that what? thing? Oh, it's a crawfish. crawfish. What's it doing out here? Wouldn't want you getting squished by a car now. Hmm. So we just throw that into the river. 
How are we gonna On do? voyage, little buddy. Oh, my sweet Nancy. Huh? Oh, my poor crap. Don't tell me. Yep. Raised her with my own two hands. I normally we stroll around the neighborhood together. That sweet little gal was my only beacon of hope. Dude, I'm so sorry. If I knew she was important to you, I never would have done that. I understand. You did it with good intentions. Well, I don't see her anywhere. Unfortunate as it is, Never know. But don't dwell too much. Oh. Hold on there, old timer. I'll go find Nancy and bring her back. You'll eat me up inside if I don't. Huh? Why, that's certainly generous of you. Can we? Can we? Well, I can give it a shot. Jeez, like, yeah, we can give it a shot. I'll lead you to it then. If you do get hold of Nancy, uh, could you come that's find me alongside? Of course. Okay. And of course. One thing I should tell you is X Nancy has an X shape, on her, X shape on her back. All right. Okay, so at least it, Nancy is distinguishable compared to like. Hopefully, she hasn't gone far. Compared to other topics. Okay, let's tap over here. Oh. It's hot, oh, so be careful. Oh, a soup kitchen for the homeless. You. Hey, you! Kitchen. This place is for people in need. Huh? Look, buddy, I'm not here for a bite to eat. Don't play dumb with me. I saw you eye in the soup. Why are you? Why are you too, like, too hostile? Well, hold up. I told you, you got the wrong idea, all right? Terracotta-san, just leave it be. I know you're hungry, but there's no need to get up at it, folks. Now, why don't we go yeah, get back, go back in line? line sir. You've got too damn soft. The soup kitchen's all we got. Hey, calm down. Uh, this is all you... Oh, look out! Oh, no! You okay? <laughs> Stupid son. I got you then. Uh, why do we have the punchable face? <laughs> cool. Mm. And yet you have 5,000 yen? <laughs> Yo. You okay? Where am I? Appreciate the help back there, but don't overdo it, alright? <clears throat> oh, what about the Ricardo plan? Uh, it was still pretty pissed after he got knocked out. Sort of had to step in and calm him down. Uh. Figures it out that that Ricardo San isn't a bad person. It's just recently, more and more non homeless folk have been trying to swoop in to the soup kitchen. I think he was irritated because there wasn't enough going out to the people who actually need it. So he this. I'd like to apologize on his behalf. Sorry to have caused you trouble. I had no idea it was that bad. At least I now know. Hey, by the way, weren't you in line to get some tea? Oh, oh right, I should hurry and get some. <laughs> Man, I almost missed out just thinking this could have been my last bowl. Makes it taste so much better. Looks like it's over. Uh, uh, not much I can do about it. Still, I wish I could have at least got something for Terracotta. Uh, uh, hmm? Here, you can eat this if you like. Hmm? Huh? I saw the fight, but I was too scared to step in and help. Might not make up for it, but I'd like you to have this onigiri. <laughs> oh yeah, onigiri, that's good, right? Hmm? Eh? What's wrong? Oh, y yes, thank you. Well, welcome, my name is Shirakawa. I'll be doing another soup kitchen out here soon, so I'll see you too then. Hi. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not actually not home. See you later. Just the hair. This is scored some food, huh? Guess I didn't ask your name. Yo. Hey, you listening? Oh, sorry, my name, right? I'm Kuroi. Kuroi, huh? I'm Kasuka. You've been zoning out ever since she came over. What's up? <laughs> you fall for her, buddy? Haha, <laughs> just easy. What? How, how did you know? For real? Uh, for real? I was just joking, man. But you really, really had over heels for her? Never been treated so kindly by a woman before. I guess she just kind of stole my heart. I know. So, tell me, Kasuga-san, are you any good with ladies? 
What's that now? Don't have an experience with these things. What's worse, I don't have a job or a house either. Still, I don't want to treat these feelings like they never existed. It's not for my first love. So I'm begging you, can you step in and play matchmaker for us? I've gotta at least try. Mm. I ain't exactly a cupid myself, man, but... Alright, I got you. Don't know how much help I'll be, but why not? Really? Thank you so much! But first, you might want to take care of your friends here. Oh. Uh, right, okay then. Next time we meet, I'll ask you again. Okay, Sir san up we go! <sighs> Playing the matchmakers can be tough, still. Guess it couldn't hurt to stick around and help the guy out. Okay, I think we're... Let's do one. Let's do one. Let's do one song. One song, one song. Let's do this. Let's do this! Hope you're Woo! ready for this. No, Because I'm I have the English in the sub. I think I know who that is. Okay, I guess that's it for this episode. And uh, I'll be talking to the team on the next one. Seems all of them already have like full hearts. And we get to see all of those scenes. And then I'll probably move on to the main story afterwards once I'm done with the other sub stories. Because I, I think some of them are only available on a certain time of day. So I'm thinking maybe I should go do. All of the ones that are available at night, by the way, or else I'm not sure if there would ever be another chance to go do those sub stories. So, once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!